Hope everybody's doing well tonight. I've got another amplifier I was going to demo. It's a Harmony 420. And I believe this is from the early 60s. Maybe 63, 64, somewhere in there possibly. Um, it's a pretty cool amp. It looks a little rough around the edges. But um, yeah, so I'll cut down here. You can kind of see the front. Um, it's got a 15 inch uh, Jensen, which is um, makes it sound good. Um, but yeah, it's a pretty simple amp. Uh, I'll show you the control panel. Um, it's just uh, volume, um, uh, bass, and treble, and three inputs. And I think they're all attenuated uh, pretty much the same. Uh, so it runs on two 6L6s. And. Um, Solid state rectifier and two 12AX7s. So um, I did a little work to this amp. Uh, it's got a new grounded uh, three prong cord on it. All the electrolytics have been replaced. And um, so, yeah, these, uh, I think these were Valco made. It just has a look. And of course, the, uh, the real one is the Harmony, I believe it's a 417. Um, could be wrong about that. That's the one Ken Fisher uh, really uh, coined as a real sleeper amp, um, awesome amp, and I think it runs on the uh, uh, two 6BQ5s in the power section, but that's, that's an awesome amp. Uh, this amp is uh, not that amp, uh, but it's a good sounding amp. Um, I was going to show you real quick, uh, I got the schematic that I got offline and show you a couple things about it that where I made some improvements um, uh, on the two uh, 12x7s they're only using one half of the uh, of that uh, first tube so uh, I couldn't have that so um, I wired it up instead of the uh, the tone stack uh, the treble and bass going in uh, to um, the second 12x7 I rerouted that to where it's going in through the first tube and then uh, from there out into the uh, uh, the phase inverter part of the, the circuit to the other uh, 12x7 um, also I did was um, you can see on the cathode um, I got a 3.9k and a 35 microfarad and also the same value when you come over here to the um, uh, other 12AX7. Um, so yeah. Um, so I played around with those values. I uh, re um, got rid of those caps. And I think I put some uh, 25 at 50 for both uh, tubes. And also I lowered that from a 3.9 to 1.5K. And uh, definitely gave it a little bit more... Um, um, this amp really doesn't break up. I mean, you have to dime this thing out, and it's it sounds good though. It's it's not bad. So, anyways, we're gonna get to a uh, sound demo, and uh, yeah. So I hope you enjoy it. And um, you know, as always, I got more amps to to show and to demo and discuss a little bit. So um, yeah. So we'll get to it. Hope you enjoy it. Uh, subscribe if you've got any comments or questions. Uh, about that circuit, I'll um, be glad to go over that with you. And uh, if you're going to mod this, and you've got, there's a lot of these out there, it seems like, and they're not real expensive, um, get a pretty cool amp. So, uh, yeah, so we'll get to the demo. using the volume control on the guitar. Got my parts caster, telecaster. The uh, tone network has kind of got a weird circuit and I really think it's probably killing some of the gain and I probably could have redone that, but yeah, I left it. Base it midway, halfway up. 
you turn it down, the gain goes up. Treble is halfway up, so you can really the bass comes on pretty strong.
you go. The Harmony 420. It is. <clears throat> Somewhere it's 420. Believe it or not. Anyways, hope you enjoyed it. Please subscribe. And uh, like I said, leave me a comment if you got any questions. <clears throat> um, somebody, thank God, we drew this schematic. Because the original that I saw online was not that... Um, well, I, you could, I could hardly see it. So, yeah, it is what it is. Great, thanks. See you next time.